Google finally announces the Nexus 5 along with Android 4.4 KitKat. The FAA gives their go-ahead for full-flight use of mobile electronics, and Nokia's lawsuit against HTC could ban the HTC One in the UK. I'm Jaime Rivera, and the reason why I'm not smiling is because I was not able to pre-order my personal Nexus 5 on Google Play. But this is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some great and official news as the FAA has finally come to their senses about a ruling that came out 40 years ago, probably more, where they would ban the use of portable electronic devices whenever you were take off and landing and then that was limited whenever you were in flight and cruising. So as of whenever they notify airlines and whenever airlines modify their procedures to allow this, you will be able to use your portable electronic devices throughout your full flight, even though your phone's gonna have to be in airplane mode anyways. But still, it's a step in the right direction. It's cool that this has happened Let's just hope that airlines update their stuff very soon. Now let's talk about Nokia and HTC as both companies don't seem to be getting along. Nokia had just filed a lawsuit against HTC over certain patent infringements in the UK. As it turns out, the UK court ended up ruling in favor of Nokia. So this would ban the HTC One and the HTC Wildfire. And we're still not sure exactly when this ban is going to take effect and obviously HTC is going to appeal against it. But while that happens, if you're interested in HTC One and you're in the UK, I would suggest you move fast. And speaking of Nokia, the only product that was missing in action on their Nokia world was the Project Glee, aka the Lumia 525, which is definitely a budget phone, nothing really big, but we do know that Windows Phone is mostly powered by budget Lumia phones, and in this case, the 525 was going to be the new budget model, aka $100, $200 probably in the price range, which is just crazy, but still really popular. And uh, apparently it's been leaked recently, it was leaked in a contest, and so we could probably expect that Lumia 525 to happen for those of you that want a budget Windows phone that has some decent specifications, so stay tuned for that. And speaking of budget products, we have this new leaked render of a Verizon Ellipsis 7 tablet. And apparently these are two tablets, not just one. And judging by the design and the fact that we don't really even know what manufacturer they come from, this could be a entry-level tablet, uh, which looks kind of decent and it runs stock Android. So we could be looking to a budget-friendly option in Verizon for those of you that are interested. Though obviously we still don't know any more information than just the leaked render. So stay tuned for that. Again, if you're looking for a budget-minded tablet this holiday season. And finally, for the very, very, very hot news of the day, we can now stop talking about the rumors of the Nexus 5 because it is now official. Google just silently announced it and they kind of caught us off guard. They kind of spilled all our lunch, but we had an editorial roundtable. We talked about the phone. Make sure you watch the video and the links in the description. And yes, this is the powerhouse that we've been waiting for. Snapdragon 800 processor, all the specifications, the great camera, and almost everything of the LG G2 only in a Nexus package, which is great. And even better, the $350 price tag for the 16 gig model, 400 for the 32 gig. It's available in white and black, and we've got a tutorials comparing it against everything. And we get to tell you the reasons why it really matters for you to consider this phone, even though you now cannot buy it because it was sold out in the first couple of minutes, even before we could even start talking about it in the round table. So that leads me to the question of the day. Were you able to pre-order a Nexus 5? Are you excited or are you waiting for the Nexus 5? In my particular case, I was sadly too late to the Google Play Store. I could not get the 32 gig model. I am looking forward to the white model particularly, but you know, sadly, I'll have to wait. Are you waiting as well? Leave us a comment down below. And friends, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tech world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.